Marketing. I'm afraid that uh, this session will have to start with in a very banal way. We'll have, first of all, to define what is marketing. Why? Because in spite of the fact that every marketing book in the last 50 years is giving reasonable definition of, marketings, of marketing, reality is that uh, in most companies you will not find marketing. They somehow confuse marketing with sales. So maybe we should use some um, stronger words to deliver the message of what is marketing and what is sell and how different they are from each other. Marketing in my eyes is spreading the corn for the ducks to come and sit. Sales is taking a gun and shoot a sitting duck. And if the duck is not sitting but moving like a mosquito, don't blame the salesperson. Blame the fact that you don't have marketing. Or in other words, marketing is bringing the market to desire your product or your service. When you're at stage of marketing, you don't see an individual prospect. You see maximum a section of the market in front of your eyes. Sales is you see a specific prospect and your job is close the deal. Close the deal. Now, if you think that it's easy to shoot a sitting duck, uh, try to do it. And remember, if you miss and the bullet goes near his ear, he's not sitting anymore. <laughs> he flown. Good marketing means have a lot of sitting ducks with glue on their feet. <laughs> now, how do you do it? What is the real problem today that prevents companies from doing a good job in marketing. What is the problem? What is the core problem? From analyzing the market, and I will not go today into the full analysis, I will uh, just rely on things that we have already established, which is the problem, once again, is this notion of local optima is the way to reach the global optima, the local notion of things. And this is what creates the real conflict for marketing. It stems from the fact that due to this local approach of looking at things, trying to optimize each portion in isolation, we have increased drastically one of the perception of value that exists in the field. You see, when you have a product or a service, there are two different perception, perceptions of value for this same product. One is a perception of value of the supplier. Now, what is it based on? If you really look on it, it's based on, actually, the efforts that went into providing this product. The more efforts, the more money, the more time it took you as a provider to bring this product from nothing into the hands of the client, the more you think that it's valuable. If you put into the material $1,000 and then you had to work so much and you had to put new technology and you had to build a whole uh, expensive distribution uh, uh, thing, in order to provide it, you think that the value is high.